Another Queen is a historical film just because of the time it takes place. It's history. It's it's history how most, and no offense, but most people that are in their 20s, even 30s, don't realize what was in San Francisco years ago and how it started. It was about getting people out of jail. It was paying bail. It was a... It was trying to get a place at the table so they'd listen to us, you know, and, and that was the political struggle. Now, Jose is, is out in public in drag in the late 40s and early 50s. Not something that a lot of people did. And he did it with support from his family. He did it with support from his employer. And he managed to continue to move the bar forward as he continued to be more visible within the community. I appreciate the tone of your film so much. You know, he wanted to be a teacher and something happened and he was, you know, got arrested because there was this police entrapment and his career was just not gonna go. That was the end of teaching. He began singing and dancing at the Black Cat and, and he didn't know, I think, at the time what that was gonna turn into, but it became a gathering place and a, a meeting place for the leadership of the early gay and lesbian community. And it showed so much. I didn't even know you know she danced out the tables all the way out the front door her last night at the Black Cat until I saw the film. That was remarkable. She was on top of those tables all the way out the door. Those are the kind of things people don't understand today. That was Jose and that she wanted to make sure her legacy never ended. That Jose was the first openly gay person to run for political office in the United States blew me away. I thought, what? He was in unfamiliar territory, but he's, he many times he said, if I didn't do it, who would do it? Nobody else had the balls to do it. He said, but I did. And this was in the 60s. I, I thought, well, okay, there's a lot going on in the 60s. I know the man who stood up and did that. It, it, it still amazes me that I got to spend some personal time with such a hero. Jose started the Imperial family because she knew that there was a, a group of people in the community that were disenfranchised from their families. She started an organization that welcomed each other. She knew that most of us didn't have the support and the love of our families. The interview with the young man that, that whose family you know, beat him to try to keep him from doing drag. The fact that he found out about Jose and Jose's legacy helped him to continue doing what he wanted to do and be who he wanted to be. I think that's very important for young people. And your movie is such a wonderful personal record, again, of a man, but of a, a creative, a powerful, visionary person really put it together in such an appealing way that you can't leave that film and say, so what? You can't leave the film and say, so what? You have to say, whoa, I want to know more about this man. And I think that we all need to remind ourselves that are we dreaming big enough? Are we aiming high enough? If he could do what he did against just unbelievable odds, what are we doing that is bold and, and exciting and daring? People say, you know, we walk on the shoulders of those before us. Well, truly, I walk on Jose's shoulders and hope my heels don't hurt his shoulders sometimes. But what are we doing? to have other people walk on our shoulders as the time goes forward. Maybe you just start to think about that as you are in it longer time. I've been doing this for 25, almost 30 years now. I mean, we have so many things we still need to do and so many rights that are categorically ignored, so many categories that are being hated for no reason at all. We need more understanding, we need empathy, and what are we doing to make that happen? And there was a man that did it back in the 60s and all the way through, and. We could be doing it today. United we stand or divide and they'll catch us one by one. Everybody has the right to run for office. I shall declare a new kingdom. I'll make myself an empress. I thought I was a beautiful girl. I believe I was a good soldier. So I made myself the widow Norton. I believed in myself. I had no problems believing in myself.
है